Hey guys, and welcome to Plugged In with Kip, my first web series that doesn't take place in my spare bedroom. As you can see, we're outside of the Midland here in Kansas City, where we're going to see I Prevail perform tonight. Now we're going to go inside and we're going to interview Josh Mahan. He is the monitor engineer for the band. So if you want to follow me, let's go check it out. Okay guys, so we're here behind the board with Josh Mahan. He is the monitor engineer for I Prevail. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Tonight is a special yes. night because not only is it my first episode for Plugged In With Kip, it is our first night of the tour yep. for I Prevail. Day one. The first thing I want to know is how did you get into monitor engineering? Were you in a band? Did you go to school? A little bit of both, I guess. You know, I started out in high school playing with bands and got interested in it. Then I did a trade school in San Antonio, Texas called the Audio Engineering Institute. And then I just kind of took it from there, getting house guy gigs, worked in a few churches, doing front of house and whatnot. And then uh, eventually impressed a couple people in a club to get on the road. And, you know, and now I'm here with I Prevail, so. Now, is this your first big band you've been out on the road with? Um, I do front of house for Lit, too. It's like Lit, guys. All right, so real quick, I'm interested to know, so you guys went from JH13, V1s to the Rock Sands. Tell me a little bit about how did that change your job and your experience engineering these guys? We get a lot more low-end definition from the Rock Sands. It almost feels like you actually have like a sub extension from a PA in your skull, which is pretty rad. Plus you have the bass attenuation thing on the bottom of the cable. These bad boys right here, you can adjust the bass on the fly. You don't even need this guy anymore in layman's terms here, because I am not an engineer, I'm just a guy who plays drums and records YouTube videos in my spare bedroom. Night to night, what are your responsibilities gonna be behind the board? I guess with the last album cycle, Lifelines, I didn't have to do that many adjustments from song to song. There'd be some vocal rides and effects rides that the guys would like, but ever since Trauma came out and we've been rehearsing those songs, I mean, I have very specific snapshots on the console. Every different song has completely different parameters. Some people want a ton of reverb in some songs and less in other songs, and the, the the album has just got so much different production level going on that every song has something different. It's really awesome just having the people that wrote the music tell you that they love how the mix sounds. And if you haven't listened to the new I Prevail record, you should. It's on all major streaming platforms. You can buy it on CD and vinyl at the record store. I saw it there. <laughs> all right, guys, you know what that means. It's time to take questions from our viewers at home. All right, so Josh and I are now here in the basement because that's where they asked us to film this interview. And like I promised, we are now going to have some questions from the people out there on YouTube. These are not my questions, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to expect. Do you know what to expect? Not even a little. He has not even been prepped on this. So question number one, uh, Caleb from New York wants to know, do you think you get paid enough for the work that you do? Definitely not. Definitely not. Maybe a little bit. No, they're good to me. Yeah. Yes. Caleb from New York. Stephanie K from Boise, Idaho wants to know why you won't respond to her text messages. Right there you go, Stephanie K from Boise, Idaho. Nash from Austin, Texas wants to know, I'm thinking about becoming an audio engineer. Do they get as much ass as the band? There's an old joke that's like something along the lines of somebody, some groupie sleeps with a band member and at the end they're like, it was just the sound guy. So no. So answer is no? You don't? Probably not. Okay. No. Nash from Austin, Texas. Final question from our viewers. Christian S. from Pontiac, Michigan wants to know when you'll get him that $20 you owe him for weed. Probably never. Okay. I actually used 20 more dollars. That's it. That's all our questions Sorry, from our, sure. our viewers out on the web. Thank <laughs> you so much. You did great. Fantastic. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'd like to thank my friends at JH Audio. I'd like to thank I Prevail and Josh for having me out. It was an amazing night. It was fun plugging in. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more content like this. Turn on the notifications. That way you can find out when I'm posting something new. See you next time.